Well, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good night. No matter where you may be watching me from, thanks for checking out my channel. Well, we are working on this 2008 Ford Fusion, and um, I had to pull the exhaust off. And I know there's a lot of uh, issues with a lot of these 2.3s, especially if you have the California Mission or the New York Emissions. You basically have a catalytic converter coming off the back of the engine, and you have three O2 sensors. Yeah, and on top of that, you got this air tube that's uh, pumped into the top of the manifold. You got a sensor here, an O2 sensor, one here inside the main cat, and you got one down here. Then you got this flex pipe. Then underneath this car, you think that's enough? <laughs> They decided to throw another catalytic converter on it. So this one here, I'm not too worried about, too worried about it. It just cleans up a little bit more of the exhaust. But uh, I did cut it off right there. It's a lot easier just to kind of cut the bolts off right there um, with a uh, grinder, a cutter. And once you cut those off, it's a lot easier to pull this whole exhaust system up and out. Now, you can try disconnected right here but the problem is it sits up and up under up, up, up toward the frame a little bit and you really can't get excess into it so it's best just to cut it off here pull the whole system out but wait before you do that let me just show you the back of this real quick uh, the back of the engine if you want to pull this exhaust off um, a lot of people are having po 420s uh, they think the catalytic converter is uh, probably shot uh gut it out the reason i took this off is uh, i wanted to run a camera down through it and see what we had and i'll show you what we got here in a minute but here is the back of the exhaust the engine with the exhaust bolts onto and uh it was pretty easy to get out the only issue i had was it took a while to do this you got all these 15 millimeter bolts and nuts and luckily for me they all came out in one piece which is great because sometimes when you get just a nut off of the stud the stud sticks into the block then it means you got to pull that manifold back even farther to get it past the stud but i got lucky and got all of them out and here is the manifold gasket it's in good shape um once you get most of these bolts out on the back you have to take off this on the back of the alternator this is the cooling piece that goes back here. It runs across the top of the engine here. And I think you can see part of it here. Well, actually, I took the whole thing off. Let me just show you real quick. It's all connected like this. Kind of like this. It brings air from the front of the engine and back to the alternator. This piece has to come off because in order to get this off, there is a bolt on the back of this manifold right here that you have to it's kind of in the way that you have to take off it's kind of sitting right about there and this piece kind of sits like this so you have to take this off the alternator in order to kind of get that bolt you might be able to get it off but i doubt it now <laughs> these two bolts here were real easy to get off this top one here I had to stick my hand up in there and I had to use this little tiny ratchet and here is one of the bolts. These are like little, gosh, I don't know, eight millimeter. Let me check real quick. And actually these are little seven millimeter bolts that you have to take out and I'm using just a little tiny ratchet set here. Once you get your hand up in there and break this loose, you can take it out with your fingers. It's pretty easy to get out after that. So once, once you get this bolt out of the top of it, you have to kind of it sits in there like this, and when you pull it off the back of the alternator, you gotta wiggle it a little bit and slide it out between the manifold, and what you do, it'll pop out, and you can get this out of the way. Then you can take the rest of these bolts out. They were pretty easy to do. Now, the only other thing you gotta worry about is, and I apologize if I sound like I'm rambling on, I wanna cover all the bases for you guys if you have to pull off your exhaust on the back of your uh, vehicle on the 2.3. You got this bracket here that kind of, it's sort of a bracket that holds up this manifold, uh, the, the exhaust. It kind of sits like this underneath. Then you got this stupid little heat shield that bolts on the top. 
like this. Uh, if you can get these two bolts out here, then typically you can get these on the bottom out. There's just two that bolt on the back of the block of the engine. And like I said, this just kind of sits on there and holds this uh, heat shield on there. Uh, once you can get this off, then this whole system will just kind of pull up and out. And once you get it out, you can do your thing. We'll take it inside the garage here, and I'm going to run my little mini camera down through there. The reason I pulled this off was I had a PO420, and uh, I thought, well, you know, the catalytic converter could be just gutted out, burned out. Uh, I put it on the scope, uh, checked all three O2 sensors, and they were working. Uh, but the back one here act like it wasn't doing anything. So uh, to make a long story short, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I just replaced the uh, this guy here, the uh, thermostat, which I have a video on, and I went and replaced it. Um, the operating temperature finally came up to where it had supposed to be and uh, before that and before that i was getting a code for one p0128 operating temperature not coming up far enough and i noticed the temperature gauge always was low so i'm thinking maybe that and a combination of the engine running a little rich uh the computer think was probably thinking that the engine wasn't uh, warm enough and uh, it was just dumping excess fuel into the system and that may be the reason why I got triggered with a P0420. Uh, the P0420, as we all know, a lot of us know, is usually the uh, a sign of the catalytic converter that is pretty much toast. So what I'm going to do, uh, I checked everything. Let me show you what I found with my little tiny camera. By the way, here is the O2 sensors that I pulled out. And they were uh, in good shape. I couldn't find nothing wrong with them. Matter of fact, you can see the white residue on it uh, telling me that the engine is burning very little oil. So what I'm going to do here is I have one of these little mini cameras that you can buy. You just plug into your cell phone or whatever, and you can go inside and kind of look in tight areas. And what we're going to do, we're going to stick it in this O2 sensor here hole. In this one, and look in here, we're going to look at these. Uh, look at this catalytic converter, see if this honeycomb is melted or anything. And here is what I found. So you can see there, I really can't find anything wrong inside there. And I'm using something like this, just a little inspection camera. I think I picked this up for like $13 or something, but these are pretty nice. You just plug it into your cell phone or computer or whatever, and you have it a, a light adjustment right here, and it works pretty good. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and stick this back on. I think by changing out that thermostat, it may have taken care of the issue. I just was a little impatient, but for this uh, video purpose, I just wanted to show you how to get this manifold off if you have to take yours off and you want to do some inspection. Or maybe you have to replace it, and now you kind of know how to do that. All right, so we'll lay this out here. And one other quick thing here is when you're pulling this out of here, make sure you don't break this little guy here off on your valve pan cover because this will snap off. There's enough room here to get in here 
and pull this whole system up and out. And also one other quick note, mine had this uh, cover underneath the uh, vehicle. It comes off real easy. It has uh, some 8mm bolts. Take those out and it really gives you a lot of excess to get under there and put your hands up in there and take your sockets to take some of the uh, bolts and nuts loose off the manifold. But once again, here's a look under here once the manifold's out and you can see all this room that you have. And there's where the, mold, the bolts go into the head of the manifold. And right there's the alternator, so you can see how close it is getting those two bolts out there. But once you get that shield off that man, uh, the uh, alternator, you're in good shape. But uh, there's a nice look at it for you. And as for the shield, I can deal with this later. I actually may drill this bolt out here and bolt this back on later. But I'm going to put this on last after I get this uh, PO420 taken care of. I think by replacing that thermostat with the car coming up to operating temperature now, it may have taken care of the issue, so I'm gonna have to drive it a couple hundred miles to see. Okay, so having said all that, the only thing you have to do is, you got some wires and some uh, connectors here, you gotta disconnect and kinda move it up out of the way. Not really a whole lot here. And you got this little bracket that you gotta take off. It's got one 10 millimeter bolt in it. But other than that, here's one more quick look at the manifold here, how it's kinda set up. Sets on the engine just like that. The back of it and there's a look at the uh, other three ports for the O2 sensors now if you don't have a California mission or New York you only have two O2 sensors so they uh, pump air into this just to make it uh, nice and clean I guess okay guys so that's it uh, there you go in a nutshell that's how I got my exhaust off on my 2.3 Ford Fusion and it's probably the same process for other Fords. So if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up and all that. Until my next video, I'll see you guys later.